The following clips were found using the internet. Hello, this is Nick from Organized Remains playing LOL Never Party Alone for the DS. I originally reviewed this in written form, but decided to make it a video since the price of the game has gone up. I can't find it in other countries, but it's $20 used in America over at eBay. It looks like the game might become one of those rare ones, which makes me kinda regret selling it for $10. To the review. First, there's a game called WTF. Now a game called LOL. Still no multiplayer Rafflecopter game though. First thing to be addressed is that you cannot play this alone. You must have a friend, significant other, or just other people to play this game. Everyone needs their own DS, but not their own copy of the game. Only one copy of LOL is required to play. This seems like the laziest idea of a game I've ever seen. There is nothing to this game except for a drawing board. This is where you can draw in a race. That's it. There isn't any different colors, no ability to change the size of the paintbrush tool, and no shape builder. You know you're lazy when you can't accomplish something better than Microsoft Paint. The actual game is that one player asks a question and everyone answers the question. The question could be, how many hair pores do I personally have on my head? Also, it could be a challenge like, draw a guy having a bad day that got drenched in the rain. You come up with the game. Each player takes turns making challenges until they snap their DS in half. They have this voting system to which was awful. You get three stars to give to the best answer. Of course, you can also vote for yourself. So that's exactly what happens. Everyone spends all three stars on themselves, and it's a tied game every time. Final say. I'm not gonna lie, I lolled many times playing this game. The point is to make each person laugh, and it worked. It did get to the point where we wouldn't even make a challenge and just write obscene words on the DS screen. Probably not the intentions the developers had in mind, or then again, maybe it was. Lasting a half an hour playing this game is not worth the $10 or the $20. With a quickly put together game, with a lot of things they could have put into it, the game is just not worth your time. This is Nick from OrganizedRemains.com.